last year we learned that we can't get satisfied. 2021 was a tale of two halves for Liberty Isla. We kind of got satisfied early and then we stumped our toe in district. After a 5-2 and two start, the Leopards finished the season on a four-game losing streak, being outscored by an average of over 30 points per contest. We got on the heels and kind of knocked the win out of our sale. With one of the most experienced teams in East Texas, LE is ready to finish above 500 in the regular season for the first time since 2015. We got about 19 guys as seniors, um, and they're doing a good job. Um, but they bring leadership out here. They work every day. They work in the weight room. They've been here all summer leading them. Um, it's a great group of kids and a very talented group of kids. One of the most talented is quarterback J.J. Hampton. The rising senior has started since he was a sophomore and threw for nearly 1,700 yards a season ago. I mean, last year it was more of offense versus defense. Instead of a team thing, we, we had team bondings and stuff, so we built together this year. Year four of the Dawoski Davis era also marks the first time Davis has seen a graduating class progress from freshmen into seniors. I feel like these are my sons because we've been together a long time, but at the same time, they work hard, they come every day, they got a personality, they keep life around here, and they're not selling for anything. This fall, the Liberty Ilo Leopards are motivated, experienced, and determined to again become one of the best football programs in East Texas. They feel like they got something to prove. They got a chip on their shoulder, and that's the right in the ship. That's what we're talking about. Get that ship right, and let's go forward. Previewing the Liberty Ilo Leopards, I'm John Sertor.